was back in 1921 when Miss Hope Winch started up the School of Pharmacy at Sunderland in Galen Building. She'd been working as a researcher uh, in Newcastle Rutherford College for the last um, couple of years and then with the Pharmaceutical Society's permission she was able to transfer all the teaching facilities over to Sunderland. So she opened the doors um, to 28 students way back 100 years ago. When the school opened the facilities were pretty basic so she taught pharmaceutical chemistry, she taught forensic pharmacy, she taught botany, pharmacognosy, physiology and uh, of course dispensing. Students were basically trained to make and deliver safe and effective medicines. They were mainly Victorian teaching rooms. It also had a sense of history and I think when you were in the teaching rooms themselves um, you felt as though you were part of the story of pharmacy within the walls of the Galen building that had occurred over many, many years. Since the beginning of her tenure, Hope Winch sought to establish the finest pharmacy department in the northeast of England. Her achievements included opening a drug development laboratory and operating with the local branch of the Pharmaceutical Society for over two decades as secretary and then chairman. Miss Winch was on a vacation. She was um, mountaineering in the Lake District in 1944, where there was a tragic accident and she died. On the 28th of April, 1944, the Hope Winch CM Memorial Fund was founded in her memory by representatives of a local pharmaceutical society, members of staff from Sunderland Technical College, and past students. The fund's first recipient, George Dempster Fairweather, was awarded to cover his fees for the period of 1948 to 1949. With the merger of Sunderland Technical College and the College of Art, Sunderland Polytechnic was one of the first three of its kind in Great Britain. Its focus was in the delivery of professional, vocational and part-time courses. I was a student at Sunderland Pharmacy in 1981 to 1984. In those days, the teaching was done mainly in Galen Building. It was, it was an unforgettable experience. There were some unforgettable personalities on the teaching team. We had to write down every word they said and copy everything they put on the blackboards. The curriculum in the 1980s when I began my studies did to a large extent look backwards. We studied the use of raw materials, raw drugs in the preparation of medicines that always um, provides an abiding memory for me. Also in 1984 we set up the Hope Winch Society. Now this was intended to keep students in touch with each other and also we raise money for the Hope Winch Benevolence Fund which is a fund that aims to help students that find themselves in financial difficulty. The 1990s saw major developments take place in the former shipbuilding town. Not only was Sunderland granted city status by Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II, Sunderland Polytechnic was granted university status. Former rector of the Polytechnic, Dr Anne Wright, became one of the first female chancellors in the country. By 2009, the pharmacy course resided within the Faculty of Applied Sciences at the University of Sunderland, home to 3,000 students, making it one of the largest in the country. Back in 2011, we were the first school of pharmacy in the UK to be accredited against what were then the brand new GPHC educational standards. My pharmacy degree from the University of Sunderland certainly encouraged me in a lot of ways. I would never have the sort of the career and, and the job and, and the salary that I have now if, if I hadn't had that sort of backing in my degree. Thank you. Sister, I've just got off the phone with the Apologies. The Living Lab sits at the cutting edge of medical and healthcare education 
immersing students with industry-recognized expertise and simulation facilities that prepare them for life in the medical sector. These uh, buildings provide some fantastic simulation-based uh, facilities where we can sim simulate or replicate what it's like to work in the real world uh, as a pharmacist across a variety of different settings. It would be such a fantastic opportunity for a student to come and learn at this university and to be a future pharmacist and embrace the facilities and the opportunities which the university can provide. During its century-long journey, Sunderland's history as a home for the study of pharmacy has brought recognition and acclaim to the university and its community locally, nationally, and internationally, with global partners and a thriving, diverse, and enthusiastic cohort. We have an excellent patient and carer group that come into the university and work alongside our students on our educational curriculum delivery. We also have a large number of our pharmacist academics who actually still work is part of the NHS frontline. They bring that experience that they gain from practice into the pharmacy school for the students to learn from and benefit from. Hey, it's Emily and happy 100th birthday to the pharmacy course at Sunderland University. Here's to the next century.